Morning. Oh, good afternoon, Jared. Have we got an update on Trent McKenzie and where he stands at the moment? Yeah, at this stage, um, all I know, um, uh, without having a full medical report uh, presented to us today, is uh, there is no severe break or anything of that nature. Um, just a sprain to, I don't know if it's an AC joint or not, but um, some positive news on that front. So that puts him in the frame to play against Hawthorne still? Yeah, obviously it's uh, early days, but I would think that he, he'd be in a good space to, um, to rock up and uh, take his spot on the side. So what about Tom Cleary? Where's he at at the moment, just in case you need him? Yeah, well, yeah. all reports is that he'll obviously have a full week on the track um, with the uh, nature of uh, looking to play this week, um, return to play um, with the Magpies, I would, I would have thought. Um, mm -hmm. That's uh, how he's tracking at present. And anyone else from the weekend? How's everyone else pulled up? Uh, yeah, as I said, it's early days. We haven't got a full medical report. Um, the only, I think, the other person was Connor Rosie in the game, had a bit of a knock. Uh, but, um, yeah, yet to uh, be presented with um, what his diagnosis is. But um, I think he might be uh, heading off for uh, some scans just to make sure um, he's okay. But other than that, um, yeah, we're okay. And what, just Charlie Dixon, the usual? Yeah, Charlie being Charlie. Um, no, look, uh, combative injuries. Uh, you know, we, um, if, you, if you look at Charlie, I think he was hobbling around with a bit of an ankle, but you know, he's, he's battled that for a number of years. But um, from all reports, uh, he presented to the medical staff fine on Sunday morning. Yeah, in terms of, we're all from the outside all trying to measure Port Adelaide. What are you getting from the weekend? We played a very good side in Sydney and uh, we, we understand uh, that we're missing some parts to our game in terms of personnel. Um, I know Ken's said it and, uh, and I'll reiterate it is that, you know, it's a squad mentality for us at the moment. Um, we're playing some young guys. We've had another debutant in, in uh, Dylan Williams on the weekend. Uh, we're missing some, some key parts, uh, players to our, to our side. And um, we're definitely looking at things in our game to keep growing, improving. But we can't underestimate Sydney Swans. They're, they're, an, they're an outfit that um, can't be underestimated. Um, they tested us. Uh, we showed great resilience in the latter part of the game. And uh, we come away with a really good, gritty win, um, which I think is only going to be positive for us moving forward. And is that the key that, you know, if it gets tough again, that you can dig deep and you can find something within yourselves? Oh, definitely. And we've always had that belief. But when um, you put it into practice, uh, as we had to against Sydney, uh, who are playing some really good football and uh, are in the eight for a reason. Um, they challenged us. Uh, you know, they got their noses in front, and uh, we showed that uh, we showed great resilience and resolve to um, sort of get momentum back and come away with the win as we did. Jared, Sean Berglund's your premiership teammate at Port Adelaide. It's a significant moment for 100. Is it a bit strange that you're going to a game where you're acknowledging someone who's had great service at Port Adelaide, but you also want to beat him? Yeah, it's a, it's a unique situation. You know, um, yeah, as you said, Rich, I played in a premiership with him, spent a lot of time with him in, at Port Adelaide as a player, and he's an icon of the game um, in terms of uh, you know, his status within the game. And look, as he's 400th, it's a big occasion for him and the Hawthorne Football Club. And as an ex-Port Adelaide player, premiership player, you know, we acknowledge um, his efforts um, and the service he's given to the AFL. But at the end of the day, we've um, got to go over and get the win. And we've got to put that aside and um, and get, get the win that we're looking for. But obviously, it's a big day for him. If, if, uh, Jared, if someone had told you in 2004 that you'd be coaching against Sean in his uh, 400th game, would you have believed that uh, trajectory? No, I wouldn't have all. Um, just goes to show who's uh, got the stable body and who doesn't. Um, so I'm coaching. He's still playing. It's a, it's a wonderful effort. Um, by Sean um, to reach 400 games. But, yeah, would never have envisaged that at all. Uh, just on back on Rosie, you said he, he had a knock. Was that to a particular area? Where, do you know where the area of concern is? Oh, it's just sort of upper leg. I'm not 100% across it. Um, I know that um, he had a bit of strapping in the game. Um, as I said, we haven't had the full medical report, um, but he was one that obviously presented to uh, the medical staff after the game. Um with a little bit more than normal. Cool. Um, as we spoke to Hammer this morning, it sounds like he's uh, still a chance to, to get up for this weekend. Is there a necessarily a spot for him, given that, that I thought Marty had a, a really good game and um, it continues to grow? Is, is, there, is there a spot for him, do you think, against Hawthorne? 
Yeah, well, look, he's got to present that he's that he's fully fit. And um, unfortunately for him, he had to pull out late, um, just wasn't feeling 100%, and we took a cautious approach. Uh, so, yeah, look, he's got, if he puts a full week on the track, it definitely he's in line for selection. Um, he was in the side before he went out um, with that sort of minor strain. Jared, can we just talk a bit about Dylan Williams and his debut? It seemed like a tough start, but he had a big finish in being part of that Sam Mays moment. How have you guys reviewed what his first game was like and where he goes from here. Uh, yeah, well, I haven't probably looked at it as close as, say, someone like Nathan, Nathan Bassett would have. But from my, um, so I suppose, thoughts and views is that I thought he handled himself well. It, it was a challenging. You're coming up a, a great defensive outfit. You know, just being stood uh, side by side by uh, Dane Rampey, you, you know you're up for a challenge. And I think Dylan um, understood what AFL footy was all about with the speed of the game, the work rate that's required. Um, he might not have got a lot of the ball, but he had impacts where he, um, he had to obviously defend or tackle or just have a contest. And evident with that with that May's goal, um, he just stood up when he needed to. Um, he'll be better for the run. Uh, yeah, he cramped a little bit after the game, but he's a young fella still learning. And you know, it's great for him to uh, debut in such a big game for us. Is there the chance of selection pressure? Is it Fantasia likely this week? I'm unsure whether Fantasia's right, but um, yeah, I, I don't know if he will be right, um, Horacio. But uh, Dylan's, you know, provided a contest, played his role. Um, but yeah, we're in the early stages of the week, but uh, we'll know more once the uh, week unfolds. Okay. Well, you know more about the, the fixture, Jared. I mean, Melbourne, one of the only places you're allowed to go at this stage. You, are you optimistic that, that that game can go ahead as normal this weekend? Yeah, well, I haven't heard anything different. Uh, we're preparing to, to fly over and um, play on Saturday night. Uh, I think it's the 7, 740 game. So, yeah, we haven't heard anything different at this stage. Uh, hubs are, are, are a reoccurring theme throughout this year. Do you have um, any indication that we're, we're closer to that point than we have been maybe at other times? Yeah, once again, haven't heard any of that information. Obviously, there's a lot going on around the country. I'm sure the AFL are doing everything in their powers to uh, keep, obviously keep the season going and, and keep it flowing as, as it has been over probably the last three or four weeks where teams have had to fly in, fly out. Um, but yeah, look, um, it's so fluid is COVID and um, I think the AFL are handling it really well. But at this stage, no, no, no word of uh, any hub. Do you think you get back any soldiers this week, Jared? Well, maybe not Fantasia, but anyone back anywhere, any level? Uh, yeah, as I, I think, um, you know, once again, early stages, but uh, without getting too ahead of myself here, but you would think Cleary, um, young Jackson Mead, um, obviously Hamish Hart, we should be right, possibly Xavier Dersma, um, and Fantasia is still the unknown as well. So there's a few few cattle getting back at what level? Um, we're just um, wrapped to obviously get them back up and playing. And I missed the start. I assume the Trent McKenzie question might have been asked. Yeah, Trent was asked. Yeah, look, at this stage, um, you know, what you know, all our reports and, and scans have shown that there's no um, significant injury in terms of crack or break in his shoulder. It's more of a sprain. Um, but once again, we'll see how he recovers during the week. But we're pretty confident he should be right.